We're super lucky today. We have John Modica uh, with us to go over the Cabrina Crosswing X2, everything about this wing and why it's so amazing. And so we're super lucky to have this gentleman. He's an amazing athlete, pro rider, incredible businessman. So this is like a super gift to us. So we're really excited to have John and uh, let's get to it. Hello friends, thanks for joining in again. We got a special day here because we have a special person, John Modica. We're gonna go over the X2 wing review from Cabrina. This wing is insane. And so we're gonna get right to it with John here. And we're gonna kind of go through what makes this wing so good. Thanks for having me on. Um, you know, the standout feature obviously for the X2 for me is the increased amount of camber that's been put in the wing. Um, and now, now what is camber? Oh, cam uh, camber is the amount of angle. Uh, I don't know if that's the technical definition, but I consider it the amount of angle from the leading edge, the entry to the exit. So the amount of depth that you're effectively achieving by that increased angle, um, cool. that increased depth is going to, uh, to a certain degree, add a lot of power. Um, that's why for racing windsurfing sails, um, performance windsurfing sails, you see a camber built in. Mm -hmm. um, and unlike most wings, we've been able to accomplish that by adding a secondary strut um, to support that frame. Is this the only wing in the industry with a inflatable center strut that is double cambered? Yeah, so this is the only wing in the industry that has a supported uh, camber gotcha. with, with a strut or uh, and something. In, in theory, this should give that wing more power. Right, that's right. And it, 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 it certainly seems to have accomplished that. Wow. And so what else is super nice about this wing? We hear a lot of talk about the handles. Seems like that's a very popular subject. The handles are, for me, um, a, a, a total game changer as far as control and ease of use. The smaller handles were really nice for a while and they were very comfortable. The problem is it's hard to grab them very quickly because you, yep. you have to grab it on the exact right spot. The bigger handles allow you a lot of adjustability and you don't even need to look at it. You just reach out and grab it. It's, it's big enough. It's very familiar feeling. It's the same diameter as a kite bar. So it's mm -hmm. gonna feel you know very familiar for those kite boarders. I love the handles on this wing. Yeah, uh -huh. they're great. I mean, you know, it's just so simple to grab when you ha and, and move around when you have so much room to work with. Yeah. You get the benefit of a, a boom, like on a windsurfing sail or some wings have a boom, yeah. but the ease of use of packing it up into a small ball. Um, and, and you would the, never use like your hand down here all the way up here. So it's like kind of the right spot. No, we put them pretty much everywhere you would need to move your hands. Um, you know, you, you get additional control from it, uh, but you don't have to deal with the excessive weight of a metal or uh, aluminum boom and you have these two right here what do these do these are for harness points um, i've actually seen some people use these um as uh, they've been putting a slider leash on here and yep. things like that but they're primarily used for a harness right? harness leash yep. you can use it with a harness yep exactly and then what are these things on the wing tips oh they in between the wings yeah the battens are just uh to uh reduce flutter and increase um, the um, stiffness in the trailing edge yeah just make the wing fly a little bit better. and that should help longevity of the wing Definitely, um, if you if you remove the battens, um, you you would definitely see a lot more leech flutter, and more leech flutter would create um, more stress on the wing. So that would definitely hurt the longevity of the wing. The other thing that's huge about this wing is the construction. It is absolutely bomb proof. Yeah. Um, we have a material. Cabrina has a material on their kites that is absolutely amazingly strong, and so. These wings take a beating, and um, I think it's uh, it's definitely worth having for sure. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you would definitely say beginners are going to uh, uh, really put a lot of abuse on these wings when they're learning, especially if there are any small waves or anything like oh, that. Oh, for sure, these yeah. wings are always wet. You're always learning. You're always crashing. Everybody's always grabbing it and dumping it, and that's why there's all these added features on it to be able to drag it across the sand, and you have all these points right here so that nothing gets worn and. Um, it's, um, this is an amazing, powerful wing in the industry, hands down. Um, it, here's a good question that everybody would want to know. Like John's a little bit bigger than myself. So your go-to in light winds, what would you pick? I'd go, if, if I was in light wind riding all the time, the seven meter X2 is phenomenal. 
And I've ridden other big wings before and I've been put off by them because the wingtips are so big. So yeah. it's really, it's actually difficult to use them because the wingtips always touch the water because the wingspan so wide. Our seven meter X2 is actually about the same width as some people's five and six meters. But so you pulled in that wingspan so it makes it easier to use. Yeah, much wider wingtips. So you still get power at the yeah. end, uh, but we're gonna avoid a lot of uh, grabbing of the water. And like for myself, I may be able to get away with a little bit of a smaller wing when it's lighter. Now, truthfully, I still ride a seven meter when it's super light many times because I can ride in absolutely almost nothing because it has that much power. So I guess for the consumer out there, I would say, look, if you're really looking for a great wing, this X2 is absolutely amazing, has incredible power for industry standard for a wing, which in my opinion for wing surfing, it's all about power and getting up and going. Yeah. And if you're looking to get going and do this sport, um, I would say look no further with the X2. Um, maybe what are some of the things that maybe, you know, um, there's other options that would be better for a consumer? Yeah, I think, you know, this is really in my mind the ideal wing for people learning how to wing, yep. people who need a lot of power, yep. something to get them up and going really easily. Which really like 99% of the people. I think it's the majority of the market. I think um, the, this wing also works really nicely in the waves. But if you wanted a, a little bit of additional weight savings, yeah. um, we have a new wave wing coming out that's a little bit on the lighter side. Might not be as powerful as this, but will satisfy the people who are really, uh, they're not um, primarily concerned with power, that they, they'll they rather more take- More into wave riding, more performance. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So that, that'll satisfy- And that wing is gonna be what? That, that wing is called the Mantis. Woo! The Mantis. New wing coming, get ready, Mantis. We'll have a new review coming on that thing soon. But I think the majority of the market is definitely going to, uh, if you're gonna get into wing surfing, you're not sure what to buy, definitely buy this. Yep. Uh, the X2 really uh, satisfies everybody. I've got um, you know, a, a friend who weighs 100 pounds who uses a very small size, and I have a friend that has, uh, weighs 220 pounds that uses the exact same wing and just a bigger size. It seems to work for just about everybody. And one thing we didn't capitalize on too is, you know, with that power, it also jumps really well. I know, you know, people will slowly get into jumping, even though people say just like kite surfing, I'm not going to get into jumping. There's no question this wing is going to jump really well for you. Um, it's going to get you up out of the water really easy with that power that John spoke about, which is everything to me in this sport. So look, they just want to fly on their own. It's absolutely awesome. You know, one of the big uh, distinctions that I like to make between this wing and other wings and even our new wing coming out is the difference between uh, stable power and pumping power. Um, as you probably have noticed when you watch a lot of wing surfers do, uh, ride, they're always pumping. They're always trying to make power. And so, you know, once you're up on a foil between this wing uh, in, a, in a, an equivalent size to another wing, you might not notice a, a, an incredible difference. But where this wing really stands out to me is the pumping power. And that's really where it's the most important is, you know, you don't need all that power once you're on the foil and going. You need that power to get you on the foil and going. Once you're up on that foil, you don't need as much power anymore. So this really excels because it's a rigid frame, it's deep camber, and that pump get up and go power. Um, and for me, that's why I always recommend to beginners because that seems to be what really prevents people from learning is, hey, does it have enough power to get me up and going? And once you're up, everyone seems to enjoy it. And you nailed on something super important there. You know, getting up and going is the most important, but also with that with that center uh, incredible um, strut that is holding that strength of that wing, yep. it probably, in, in general, I would say lasts longer because there's less movement in the wing when you're pumping. So this wing would, in theory, maybe last longer than most wings. I think so. I, you know, the, the the frame is much more rigid, so, so there's you have a less lot movement, less, so less issues to go wrong. I, I think so, but you know, time will tell. Yeah. Uh, we have every size three, four, five, six, and seven meter. Another important thing that you know we forgot to mention is um, some people ask us why we have two inflation points on this wing. Why not just have it as a one pump uh, system? And it's because the struts, because they're a much smaller diameter, we can pump these up to a much, much, much higher PSI, much uh, higher pressure. Each wing has instructions for what PSI is supposed to be on the, the leading edge versus the struts. So the struts are connected, so you pump up the struts to a certain PSI, and then the leading edge different. This will also allow you to tune your wing so that you can really find the ideal uh, inflation pressure. point for both of these things mm -hmm. to maximize your wing. Most companies, you wouldn't be able to do that. Well, no, most- This would be whatever the pressure is of this because it feeds into it. Right, so most companies have a similar uh, diameter strut and leading edge, yeah. so they connect it, but that doesn't allow you any adjustment, um, uh, it, or it would be very difficult to adjust. Wow. And John, 
you are uh, a newly um, morphed into the sport of kite surfing. You've been a pro for many, many years. And um, are you excited about your new venture with Cabrina? Yeah, you know, it's a, it's a dream come true, really. Um, I've been working with the company in some way since I met you in 2012. We were and, little kids. Uh, we, were, we were pretty young then. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, not 2012, 2002. <laughs> It's about a decade <laughs> off. Um, yeah, so, um, you know, for me, it's, uh, you know, being a part of a group um, from the outside for 20 years and then kind of becoming a part of it from um, from all facets is, is really a, um, it's a real incredible change and it's something that I've been, you know, looking forward to for a long time and glad it finally happened. And, and uh, for all you amazing people out there, if there was one thing, John, you could say to these people mm. on, why you would do this sport, what would you tell them? You know, wings, why you, why is this so unique to, to people right now? I think wing surfing is really unique because it's so simple and fun and it's much more accessible than some other sports. Yeah. So I think, you know, for, for different people in different locations, it's for different things, but what makes it so unique is the simplicity and the accessibility of it. And it packs up into nothing, and you can go anywhere. You can go absolutely you know, with your family. Do you like? Do you have any scare to put anybody on it? No. Uh, as long anybody. As I think. Well, I think they're generally uh, able to swim and uh, <laughs> and uh, handle themselves in the water. They should be able to handle this. Wow. Awesome. Well, we appreciate having you. You're amazing. And uh, get yourself some X2s. <laughs> like and subscribe. Click the links and hit the things over there and up there and left and right. And wait until you see John on the water. We'll throw a little clip in here for you of John ripping it on one of these wings. Thanks for having me. <laughs>